Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I thought I would do an entire collection video because obviously recently I, I sold a few, I purchased a couple more and so I thought it, you might find it interesting what I actually have left in the collection. This is my bookcase and all of the perfumes that I own are on this one shelf. That's, that's it right there. There's a couple of small things on the shelf here which are a couple of Andy Tower miniatures, Unrose de Kandahar, Le Air de Desert Marocaine miniature Atars. These are a couple of Atar oils. This one is Rasse Fort's Oud, and uh, these are Ensar Oud oils. And then obviously I've got a couple of my own brand on the very top, the Centauri, um, sat on the top there. So what I thought I would do is just put the camera dead straight onto the bookcase and literally go through because I don't have that many anymore, I can just go through each one, pick it up, talk a little bit about it, and go through the whole collection, you can see what I've got left. A few things I've given away to family, for instance, I, I had uh, Maison Francis Kirkjean's Oud Satin Mood for the, the longest time, and last month I gifted what's left to my sister. My sister Sophie likes it, There's, there was only, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 mil left in the bottom, I gave uh, Sophie the rest of that. So I've been clearing away things, and um, so yeah, we'll go through what I have left. Welcome to my bookcase. This is this is the front view, as as I would be looking at it. Well, I'm a bit, I'm taller than the camera, so I, I've got a bit more of a bird's eye view. <laughs> but, but this is, uh, this is, this is what's going on. So I've got two lines of perfume. This is obviously the front line, and then there's a back line at the back of the bookcase. And that's my entire collection. So from this angle, we'll go through the, the ones on the front and then I'll bring the camera up. You can get a bird's eye view and then we'll go through the back line. So we'll start from the left side and I will pick each one up and show you and give you a little bit of information about them. Uh, this first one is by Killian Sacred Wood. This is a, a sandalwood fragrance. It's literally just sandalwood and basically nothing else. So if you like smelling of woody sandalwood, <laughs> that, that one's for you. I like sandalwood, it's one of my favorite notes, very easy to wear, completely unisex. And there's a few fragrances that do something similar to this, like Tam Dao by Diptyque, but personally I think this one is better. The next one moving along is my newest purchase, which is Creed Royal Oud. This one is peppery, woody, and just kind of warm, spiced woods, basically. I, that's what I get from it. Uh, very nice. And yeah, the newest one to my collection, that's a 50 mil. Next to Royal Oud is Bojnikov. This is Bojnikov by Fort and Manley. This has kind of a cocoa chocolatey note mixed with a, a lavender top note so it's lavender chocolate there's a oud note in here real oud so you get this kind of kick of oud mixing with lavender and chocolate and and then it dries down into this kind of woody chocolatey thing which is just very cool and i really like it that's Bojnikov by fort manley that one may be leaning slightly a little bit more on the masculine side for some people Generally speaking, all of my fragrances I would consider to be unisex. Um, however, some women might find that just a tiny touch on the masculine side. Personally, I consider it unisex. I think a woman would smell good with that. Uh, next is another new purchase. This is Amouage Lyric Man, another one. This one is marketed towards men. It's called Lyric Man. It's completely unisex. A woman would smell fantastic with that. It's beautiful. If you're a woman and you like rose as a note, don't skip this one because it's marketed towards men. There is a women's version of this which smells different. It's a completely different formula. Check out the men's version as well. There's no reason why a woman can't wear this. It smells beautiful. So if you like rose, uh, check it out. Uh, that's one of my newest ones. There's a, it's a little bit of a spicy top note, a little bit kind of like moisturizing cream kind of lotion kind of vibe to it in the dry down. The next one after Amouage is another Fort of Manley. This is Fate Sultan Mehmed. This one is a little bit hard to describe. It is a little bit floral. It's a little bit kind of soapy, a little bit kind of incensey. It's quite unique and I would recommend 
sampling it because it's a perfume that I find difficult to describe. <laughs> it's quite fresh and quite clean and it's just lovely. For me, I would say probably summer and spring, definitely completely unisex. And yeah, if you want something just a little bit different and interesting, that's definitely one to try. And next is uh, Love Kills by Mask Milano. This was actually gifted to me as a birthday present. I didn't buy this one, but it is lovely. As you can see by how much I've used, I've almost, uh, is that about half full? You can see the bottom is like, most of the bottom of the glass is this where my fingers are here. That's solid glass. So that's probably about half full. So I have used quite a bit. This is a very fresh, bright rose fragrance, basically. This one is really centered on the rose note. It's bright, it's fresh, it's slightly, like almost like dewy, like morning dew on, on the petals, that kind of fresh crisp, crispness to it. And very, very nice. So if you like fresh kind of rose, Quite different to the Amouage Lyric Man, totally different vibe, but both of them are, are very nice rose fragrances. So yeah, that is Mask Milano Love Kills. Next to that here is Splendiris by Ducita. This, I didn't purchase this one. This was actually gifted to me by Pissara. A while ago, I did an interview with Pissara. She actually reached out to me and asked if we could do a live stream together. And so I was like, sure, we'll do like an interview on my YouTube channel and because she was suggesting to do it on Instagram. And so we did it on, on YouTube and we did like a one hour interview where I asked questions and um, people that were in the comment section could ask questions. And it was a really good interview. And after the live stream finished, she basically wanted to, she wanted me to have a bottle of my favorite fragrance. And in general, I don't like accept, accepting free bottles because I feel guilty about it. And I, I, I just feel awkward. So I usually say no, unless I give them away. So I tend to, if I do accept a free bottle, I give it away to the subscribers. I don't actually keep it. I'll review it from the bottle and then I'll give the rest of it away. But in this case, I'd already reviewed it from a two mil a sample spray. I'd already given that positive review. It genu genuinely was my favorite from her collection. So I graciously accepted and here it is. It, like the name suggested, is built around iris. It's kind of violety, irisy, very s kind of soapy clean, minimal, just very light and very pretty, very beautiful. Again, completely unisex. And so I'll bring the camera up and we'll get a more bird's eye view and I'll show you the back line of fragrances. So this is more of a, a bird's eye view where you can see the back and this one in the back here is Kazemi. This is a 100 ml bottle of Kazemi by House of Matriarch. This is another rose based fragrance. I've got three rose scented perfumes in the collection. This is the darkest one. This is very dark, kind of spicy. And yeah, I got a 100 ml of this and yeah. Kazemi, House of Matriarch, nothing much else to say apart from very deep dark rose and quite woody, quite spicy. So there you go. That's probably the most masculine, so to speak, smelling rose that I have tried personally. And although I say it's more masculine, still completely unisex. Next we have Lita by Bogue. This was given to me in a swap by the band manager. Uh, the band manager of the band Duo, who's, this is a collaboration with Bogue. Basically, I did a review from a sample, gave it a, a good review. I thought it was very interesting. It's kind of, this is a very smoky fragrance. I would compare it a little bit to T-Rex, but this is less mental than T-Rex and a bit sweeter. So, but it's got the same kind of smoky floral thing with a little bit of a plastic uh, vibe to it like a plastic note with this kind of kind of with this kind of caramelized vanilla kind of note in there too which just makes it m a little bit more wearable than t-rex for me and but still it's pretty intense and so he really wanted me to have a bottle after i gave it a good review and i again not comfortable accepting free bottles so i said well 
I don't really want a free bottle, <laughs> but he he was interested in Shambo at the time. I was about to launch Shambo, which was from my brand Centauri. And so what we did was we swapped. I, I saved him a bottle of Shambo and gave him a Shambo and he sent me a bottle of Lita. So there we go. That one is just a bit insane. If you can get a sample and uh, try it out. Next up here is another matriarch. This is Devotion. This is, is it, I, I describe it as a spicy kind of incense fragrance. It's, it's a mix of spices, incense, resins, woods, ambergris. Uh, to me, I get a cannabis note in the top note. So there's like um, cannabis essential oil. It's basically a little bit leafy green when you first spray it. So you get kind of a dark green leafiness. And then it goes into this kind of spiced kind of incense vibe thing going on. And that's about half empty. So that will probably be gone in a few years time. These two, Kazemi and Devotion, are the only matriarch I have left. I, I gave a few to my sister and I sold the rest, basically. So one of them is, two of them are on eBay at the moment. Uh, so those are the only two that I've kept and one of them I've completely used, which was Madrona, the lavender fragrance, that one. Uh, I just finished a couple of weeks ago, and so that's empty now. So those two are the only ones I've got left from that brand. Moving on to the other side is one of my new purchases, Clementine California by Atelier Cologne. Beautiful Clementine orange note with a kind of a creamy, moisturizing, cream lotion kind of vibe as it dries down. Very, very nice, very easy to wear, completely unisex and yeah fantastic for the summer a little bit soft in its performance but very very nice nonetheless next to that is pomelo parody by the same brand atelier cologne this one like the name suggests juicy pomelo note so kind of like a kind of like a grapefruit kind of vibe but a little bit rounder and the this grapefruit kind of note the pomelo note is mixed with kind of an a very smooth amber kind of accord and as it dries down but a juicy it's a juicy pomelo just really really nice and so if you like juicy fresh uplifting citruses that one you might really enjoy and yeah fantastic stuff and again all of these in general are very very unisex and the last one is Rasse Fort Colonia I decanted it, so I've not used that amount. The rest of it is in a bottle behind there. I decanted it into a spray bottle because this is a screw top splash on and I'm not a fan of splash on in general. So I keep the bottle on display. That was given to me for review by Rasse Fort. I did, this is one of the few occasions where I felt comfortable, well not comfortable, but I felt okay accepting a free bottle. Um, I gave away a few samples, I think, f decanted a few samples and gave samples away for this in the video. Obviously, I told you at the time that this was given for review, but I'm a fan of Rasse Fort. I've met him in person. He's very cool. I consider him a friend as well, and I'm a fan of his work. I think he's a great perfumer. And so when he reached out to me and asked if I would like to try it out, he wanted me to have one. I graciously accepted and I'm glad I did because it smells fantastic. It's beautiful. Although it's kind it's kind of got an iris accord note in it, but there is no iris. I asked Rasse, there is no iris in this, but it gives you an illusion of an iris accord. It's a mixture of florals and vanilla and it's just really interesting. I'm going to smell it again now actually because it I found this one again a little bit hard to describe. The same as Fate Sultan Mehmed, which is just it, his blends are quite unique. You really need to smell it. But there definitely is an Ionone iris like quality to it, again, despite the fact there is no iris in there. <laughs> but there's like, there's clean florals like Neroli and things like that, and Pettigrain, I think, um, kind of notes like those in here. Fresh, clean, but with this kind of uh, vanillic kind of sweetness. But it's just lovely. Very, very nice. And perfect for spring and summer. And that's it. That's all my full bottle collection. I have one miniature, which I'll grab here, which is from Abel. This is Pink Iris. That was given to me as a birthday present. Thank you very much. 
and yeah that's as you can see half empty this one is kind of i did a full review it's very nice it's a little bit violety irisy if that makes sense yeah it's just it's very pretty check out the review there's a, a natural this is 100 percent natural by the way but there's a natural kind of i think a natural musk isolate thing that's going on from like ambrette or whatever and it's just very very nice so if you like violety kind of iris things you, you might enjoy that one and that is my entire collection i don't plan on adding any more this year i want to use up what i've got and enjoy them and then once i've got this collection kind of down a little bit like maybe like half the amount again then i'll then i'll then i'll consider purchasing a couple of new ones but i want to keep the collection small usable just I, like at the peak my uh, at the peak of my collection i had about 40 bottles and at the time i was probably only reaching for about five of them regularly and the rest of them i didn't wear i liked them artistically i thought they were great but i just found i didn't reach for them i didn't i didn't go to spray them on and i would tend to reach for the same four or five fragrances which is a shame because the rest of it collects dust and so I don't want that happening again. I want to keep the collection where I'm I'm regularly feeling like I want to use them and wear them. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I don't plan on purchasing any new fragrances now for the rest of the year. I kind of want to use what I've got, try and use up some more fragrances, and I'll only kind of purchase the odd thing once I start finishing more bottles off and actually finishing and using them before I purchase any new ones. That's kind of my thinking going forward. And again, I don't want a huge collection. I like it small and I want to use what I have before kind of buying more. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you soon with some more fragrance videos. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Bye.